Suricata has two primary modes of operation. The first is to listen on a network interface in real time to capture network data. Or the second is to ingest PCAPs in an offline mode. Now, listening to network traffic in real time is going to be the most common way Suricata is configured and deployed. And in this video, we'll briefly discuss how to use systemd to control Suricata, reload rules without interruption, and install Suricata as a service. Finding these videos helpful? Please take a moment and hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, let's get started. We're going to pick up after installing Suricata, and as you can see, we're using Ubuntu as our operating system of choice. One of the first commands we can issue is to use systemctl, which is a command line utility for the systemd components to check the status of our Suricata service. Here you can see that right now the status of Suricata is inactive or dead. That means that Suricata simply is installed, but it isn't listening to any network interface in order to capture network data for us. It's quite straightforward to use systemctl to start Suricata. We just replace status with start. Now when we check status, you'll see that the active status is now active or running. This can also help you with troubleshooting. If you start modifying the Suricata configuration file and are having trouble getting Suricata to start, you may see some debug or error information here towards the bottom of the systemd output. The last thing we'll talk about is enabling Suricata to start as a service on boot. We'll continue with our exploration of systemctl. The only thing we have to change is we can use the enable command along with suricata.service. And after running the command, you should see output similar to the following. This means now anytime the system reboots, Suricata will start. Something else that you'll very regularly need to do is you'll want to reload rules in the Suricata engine after you've updated them. Suricata provides another tool that's installed by default called Suricata SC. Now, here we're going to use the dash C command along with help. These are all of the different commands that Suricata provides, and they're also documented on read the docs. However, just to help you with getting started, there are, however, there are a number of commands that can help us, particularly with loading rules. You'll see these are all prefixed with rule set dash. So we have reload dash rules, which is simply an alias for rule set dash reload dash rules. You can get some other information, such as rule set stats, failed rules, and reload time, as well as a load of other commands that will allow you to work directly with your running instance of Suricata. But just to show you how easy it can be, we can just issue the reload rules command. And you'll see that you'll get a JSON message back saying that the return status was OK and that the command completed. This allowed us to reload rules after updating them without having to stop Suricata. This prevents any service disruption and therefore any breaks or gaps in Suricata's network monitoring. Now, there's more to learn about Suricata rules and we're gonna cover that in a future video. For right now though, I just wanted to show you some basic commands that will help you with running and managing your Suricata installation. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned because we have many more great videos planned.